Rishi the Robot was out on his last ever interview as Prime Minister. Well, let's hope so anyway. It's one last gambit to try and appeal to the public to vote for him and just ignore the 14 years of Tory rule that's completely ruined the country. But it's absolutely pointless, to be honest, because he didn't say anything new. He just got the same stock answers for every single question. And he's been using the same ones for the past three or four weeks of the campaign. Every answer to the question was tax cuts, and it really showed how out of touch he is with regular normal people. When Sheila asked the question that it's not about tax cuts, it's providing the basics. Julian before her had asked why nothing in the country had worked, from doctor's appointments to potholes to sewage in the waterways. Instead of addressing either of those questions, he just rolled out the regular excuses of Covid, war in Ukraine, furlough, and then bangs on about tax cuts again. Like people are just wanting to pay taxes if you're going to spend it on public services. He had a real opportunity to make a difference when he became Prime Minister. He could really have set himself apart from the previous 13 years Tory mismanagement, but he didn't. He just thought it was a bit of a jolly. Boris Johnson could lie and do anything he wanted and got away with it, and probably thought he could do the same. But people are fed up with it. People are fed up with a government that doesn't care and just wants to lie in their own pockets. He's shown himself to be a weak Prime Minister. He won't stand up to his own party, and he won't put right what the Johnson and Trust managed to mess up. It's clear that the job title and the status was much more important than actually governing the country. And so here he is trying to claim that everything is OK, but everything would be made better by just cutting your taxes. Our viewers, many of them, get in touch with us every single week, expressing frustration, expressing sadness, not just about the pandemic and what's happened with the energy talk because of Ukraine, but about how they feel about our country. And I just want to put some of their comments to you, and I'd like you to address them directly. Um, Julian has said, why isn't anything working in this country? It grieves me sorely to see the state this country has degenerated into. Michael's told us, why does my son's school not have enough money for glue sticks? Why do I have potholes on almost every road I drive on? Why can't I get a doctor's appointment? Why are beaches and rivers polluted beyond measure? And Sheila says, our biggest worry is not about tax. It's about having the basics. Can you say to our viewers this morning that you can do anything about how they feel? Do you understand it? Yes, of course I do. And, and my first answer to you, I acknowledge the frustration that people felt. Of course it's been very difficult. When inflation rises to the highest level that we've seen in decades, when energy bills double because of a war in Ukraine, of course that has an impact on Sheila and everyone else. And that's why I'm working so hard to deliver people financial security. And I do think it is about tax because people are working very, very hard and I want them to be able to keep more of their money so that they can spend that on their families in the way that they want. And we've now been able to start doing that after a difficult few years, which is very positive. So everyone in work on average is receiving a £900 tax cut. And if we're re-elected, we will continue to cut taxes for people at every stage of their lives, giving them the financial security that they rightly want and deserve after what has been a difficult few years. But it's and what I don't want, none of those things are going to be made any easier by a Labour government that would whack up everyone's taxes by thousands of pounds. That's not going to help Sheila or anybody else, and I don't want to see that happen. But this is about what's changed over the long term. And Sheila says your government has just not been delivering the basics. People feel you've not delivered the basics and you're asking for another five years. Again, um, Laura, we can, you said you didn't want to trade statistics. Right? I'm, not, I, I'm telling you what our viewers and, are telling us. And this election is about the future. And if people want more financial security so that they can spend the money on the things that they want to provide a better life for their family, that's what I will deliver. And our viewers also are very aware that taxes have been at an absolutely record level. So you may be promising that now, but people have really felt the pain because of successive tax rises that your party has brought in. And well, can, I, can I just address that? Well, well, you've made the point, so let me just address that. We had a pandemic, right? And I was on your show many times talking about the support that we were providing to the NHS for the vaccine with furlough. Then we had a war in Ukraine. Again, I was on your show when you were saying, well, what support are you providing to people? At the time, not a single person disagreed with that support. Very, very understandably, we have to pay that back. That's why I took the difficult decisions. Rishi Sunak told us he is undeniably cutting taxes and he's offering another cut to the rate of national insurance. But he's also sticking by those plans to freeze the amount you can earn without paying any tax. Put it all together, it does mean less tax for average and higher earning employees, but it means more tax for the lowest earning. 
That's according to the independent analysts at the Institute for Fiscal Studies. It's no wonder Sunak is so out of touch with regular ordinary people because he just doesn't understand how to answer basic questions. There's a car crash interview that's on screen now where you can see him doing exactly the same thing all over again. So go watch that next. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to take your ID with you when you vote on Thursday and make a difference to this country. I'll see you next time. Thank you.